Hi there. In this video, we're going to do a quick rundown of dashboards in Adaptive Insights. So here we can see we're already in dashboards, but let's start by clicking on the Workday icon, go down to Dashboards. Now, if we want to create a new dashboard, we click the New, then we'll just call it Test. Now we want to get started. So in order to do so, we click on this edit button on the top right. Then we could see all the different types of uh, charts and graphs and everything that we would want to use to create a different dashboard. So quite a few different options here. Um, so let's get started with some information. So on the right here, there's three different buttons. Uh, the top is the appearance settings. Below that is the data settings, and below that is the time settings. So let's go over to the data settings. This is where we could find our information that we would add on to our given charts. So let's go into accounts, GL accounts, uh, and let's do assets. Let's add that in. So we had the area chart highlight it. So we just delete these other ones for now. So as that's populating, we could see, okay, this is the assets that were given for an individual month. Uh, so, you know, this might not be the best type of chart. So let's, uh, let's see, what do we got? We got an area chart. We have a column chart, bar chart. So there are some views that we could use there. Let's you know, let's use a pie chart for the assets. Let's take a look at that. So we'll, add, we'll go back, we'll add in accounts, GL, click assets. And there we go. So we could see, okay, for this fictional company, we have this amount of assets here. If we wanted to change the time, we could click here or here as well. Um, so that's the first example. Let's say we wanted to add in different filters to know how many assets for a given department or uh, any other types of parameters. So we have these top levels here that have the uh, time and level. Let's say we wanted to add something else in there. So we would click on the top left here, the name of the dashboard. And then on the right, you could see this data settings pops up and we could add another context. So you have the attributes and then also the dimension as well. So if you wanted to pick uh, just P&L accounts, you could see up here the P&L accounts get added. Um, so there's a quick rundown of a pie chart. Uh, let's add in a scorecard. So the scorecard is a pretty useful one that uh, let's say you wanted to see a P&L. Um, so we could come over here. Let's say we wanted to add uh, revenue. Let's say we wanted to add expenses. And let's say we wanted to add net income. You could see it's not the easiest view right out of the gate, but we can edit that. So if we go to appearance settings, let's just take a look at the individual month. And that's a bit easier to view here. Okay, so there's a high level overview how to get started. The best uh, bit of advice I could give you is just tinker around, play around uh, with the different types of charts and the different other settings in here. and. Uh, the more you familiarize yourself with the tool, the better uh, you will become. Uh, so that's basically it. Going to call it. And any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.